My brothers and sisters in Islam, today I wanted to share with you a secret. So when I was young, around, uh, around the age of 13, 14, if I recall correctly, I was uh, standing in the street waiting for my father to come for our regular lunch meeting. And while I was standing alone, reflecting, looking left and right, I saw one of my neighbor's friend, one of my friends, uh, who left his home, hiding something under his shirt, looking left or right, uh, looking really strange. And I, I thought that he's hiding something and, and, and there's something, there must be something wrong. So I observed from far and I saw him lifting a big trash bin and putting like a folder underneath the uh, rubbish bin and getting back home. And I was like, what is he doing? And you know, at that age, the curiosity kills. And immediately, yes, you, you guessed it right. I was, I was like, you know, thinking, already planning how to get that file into my hand. And immediately, in a split of a second, I ran, I took, I lifted the trash bin, I took the folder, I hid it in the same way how he was hiding it earlier. And I took it home as if nothing happened. My father came, we had the lunch, I went to the bathroom and I start browsing through this fo folder. Of course, this is something very bad. I advise you ne never to do it. But we were young and we were wrong. And But I went through and Alhamdulillah, it was like the best thing ever happened to me at that uh, age. And that was a journal of that brother. He was, he was jotting down his, his thoughts, his uh, achievements, the things that he have done that made him proud, the things that he've done that he regretted, and a solution to it. And from now on, I will never do this again and again, and so on and so forth. And it was actually a great idea for me at that age and for also the people who came from my culture. In Egypt, it's very difficult to open up to your family members, for example, about a girl that you like. It, it is very, very awkward sometimes uh, for younger generation to open up to uh, their parents or elders. And so it gave me that idea that I wanted to actually jot down my thoughts, my ideas, my achievements, my mistakes, my sins to something that would never judge me, to something that would never say you're wrong, you're this, you're that, haram, 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 you know, the haram hunters that we have around us. And this is my advice for today. Judge yourself before you are judged by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is uh, according to Umar ibn al-Khattab. May Allah be pleased with him. So the advice today would be, why don't you start to have a journal of your own to jot down your, your daily you know, inputs, what you have done today, whether you have slipped, whether you made a mistake. And when you get back to these ideas and to these thoughts and to these mistakes, most likely it will strengthen you in the future, inshallah ta'ala. So start from today on and continue with that practice for as many years as you can and try to keep it safe. Uh, in, a, in a safe place where it's not accessible by anyone who will shame you or who will expose your secrets. Try to be wise when you do that. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hide our faults, all of us. Ameen, ameen, ameen. My brothers and sisters in Islam, all the links to previous episodes are to be found below this video. Kindly like them, share them with everyone, and we'll see you tomorrow, inshallah, with another